You just dropped a monster poop and now your butt is throbbing with pain and there's blood in the toilet too. What a big buddy bummer. You may have just developed an anal fissure. Today, I will tell you all about anal fissures and how to treat them. I'm Nurse Wong and this is Butt Talks. anal fissures. Anal fissures are a break in the skin at the anal opening, similar to a paper cut. If you have an anal fissure, you may experience extreme pain, especially when pooping and sitting. You might experience blood in your stool or in your undies during the day-to-day -day activities. Anal fissures can be caused by tight butt muscles, anal sex, hard stools, frequent loose stools or excessive wiping, which all can cause trauma to the anal canal. Each time you poop, you may be re-entering this area with reoccurring anal fissures. Believe it or not, anyone could have anal fissures, whether young or old. Even a pro like me has suffered from anal fissures. It literally felt like a tornado up my acid. Whatever you do, don't ask your bestie to examine your tender asset. They won't have a clue what they're looking for. Now that you understand where anal fissures come from, let's talk about how to treat them. Here are my five steps of self-care on how to heal and treat your fissures. Number one, get your buddy in warm water. I always say a clean buddy is a happy buddy. The best way to clean your buddy is to sit in a sits bath. Another solution is to sit in a tub of warm bath water. Don't put soap or Epsom salt into the water because it may irritate your buddy skin unless you put some type of cream on it afterwards. You should try to do this for at least 10 minutes twice a day if you can. If you can't do this, try to do it after you poop instead. Warm water is your friend. It helps keep your buddy clean and relaxes your anus so the healing process can start. Check out my video on how to clean your butt for more information. Number two, apply ointments to your buddy. After your sits bath, apply some ointment to heal up the anal skin. It's similar to like having a canker sore on your lip. You have to apply some ointment to heal it up. In our case, we call it buddy balm. Use zinc oxide based cream like Desitin Daily Defense or a Camoceptine with menthol, which should heal up your wound. You may need to use it a few times a day for about a week, especially after pooping. Remember to use the ointment after your body is clean. It's okay to use a cream or ointment with lidocaine, but stay clear of hydrocortisone. Hydrocortisone can thin your skin and also enhance bacteria growth which can lead to more problems. For other cream options, check out my video on the top 5 butt creams. If these don't help, it's time to call the butt busters, aka the medical professionals, to check out your assets. Number 3. Use over-the-counter medications. Spasms and throbbing are symptoms of a fissure, especially after pooping. The throbbing can go on for hours. Sitting is even painful along with the throbbing. You need relief. Taking an oral medication such as Tylenol or Motrin can help dull the pain. To prevent further fissures from developing, you need to get your SHIT together. Hard or irregular stools can keep breaking the anal skin. Try taking a fiber supplement such as psyllium or methicillulose with each meal and plenty of water to soften and bulk up your poops so they can slide out easier. Stool softeners in moderation such as Miralax or prune juice are also recommended. Avoid straining when you poop, it just makes the problem worse. Watch our video on how to poop properly for more information. The Buddy Busters can write prescriptions for special ointments and non-constipating pain or muscle relaxers to help further. Number 4. Dietary Changes You can soften your stools from eating certain foods. Remember people, we're aiming for the type 4 poops, aka the perfect poop. 
Watch our video on what your poop is trying to tell you to learn more about your health. I also recommend having soups and smoothies, also known as soft fiber. Avoid salads, nuts, and seeds, as they are rough fiber which can irritate your anal passageway. The moral of the story is, if it's rough going in, it's going to be rough coming out. But then on the other hand, you don't want your poop super soft. Then you'll be wiping excessively and still injuring your buddy opening. To avoid loose poops, limit your consumption of things that irritate your colon, such as caffeine, diet or sugar-free sodas, alcohol, spicy foods, smoking, and medications, just to name a few. Check out our videos on diarrhea for more information. Number five, hydration. By staying hydrated throughout the day, your balls will soften and act as a lubricant, allowing your gut to efficiently perform peristalsis, making the pooping process easier. Be sure to drink lots of water. Sometimes you forget, or you may not feel thirsty throughout the day, but it's important that you drink water. We have a simple formula for how much water you need to drink in a day. Simply divide your body weight in pounds by 2.2. This is how many fluid ounces of water you should drink a day. For example, if you weigh 160 pounds, you'll need roughly 73 fluid ounces of water per day or approximately 9 8 ounce cups. However, if you follow the metric system, your body weight in kilos is equal to the amount of fluid fluid ounces you'll need to drink per day. For example, if you weigh 72 kilos, you will need roughly 2 liters of water per day or approximately 9 cups. People who are more active generally need to drink 2 more cups of water or approximately 16 more fluid ounces a day. Another way to drink more water is creating simple habits throughout the day. Drink water during your meals. Use a reusable water bottle with mark volume measurements to keep track of your daily water intake. I'll put a link to my favorite water bottles in the description below. Now you know everything about anal fissures and hopefully you could cure them. Anal fissures come and go, so stay on top of it. Don't give up, they will get better. If your problem persists, consult with a medical professional for help. If you like our video, press the like button below. Comment on what you want to learn more about next. For more tips and tricks from Butt Talks, subscribe to our channel. Have a great poop day!